today, um, today's Friday and last few Fridays, I've been doing kind of like a mobility Friday session. Um, so that what we're going to do is there's going to be five different exercises, um, exercises, mobility exercises. Uh, some of them might burn a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be too awful. We're going to do each one for one minute. Uh, and we're going to do three rounds. So the whole thing is only going to take 15 minutes. But before we do that, we have to warm up. So go ahead and take your stick, or in my case, the stretchy band. Um, and with that stretchy band, we're going to pull it up, rotate, and press just like normal. This is one of my favorite ones. How do your shoulders feel after yesterday? Worked. Worked? Good. Yeah, mine too. We're not going to have to warm up ugh, too much. Keep that above your head. Give me some squats. Oh, my ankle's a little. Oh, I feel like it feels like my ankle has to crack. It's weird. I hate that feeling. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and relax with that. <clears throat> we're going to, okay, we're going to need a little bit of ankle mobility. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a kettlebell, but you don't need to have a kettlebell for this. You could just lean forward. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the kettlebell on top of my knee, and I'm just going to let the weight of that kettlebell help me press my knee forward while trying to keep my heel down. Um, and yeah, just hang out there a little bit, stretch out that ankle a little smidge. Having a little bit of ankle flexibility is going to help us today for the Cossack squat. And we'll go ahead and switch sides. <clears throat> you can do this in the squat too. Ugh. Okay, and then I just want to get your hips to move a little bit. So I'm going to actually just do kind of like a rotation with my hip going this way, opening it up. So I'm putting my knee up forward, opening up the hip and bringing it down. And I'm just making that like a fluid circular motion. Just to kind of get a big range of motion in the hip socket. Yeah, hips are a little weird. I'm going to do a few hip circles too, just because I feel like it. I wasn't planned on it, but it just feels like I need to. Okay. And the rest of the warm up, we're going to get, uh, we're going to get in the actual quote unquote workout or mobility work we're going to do today. So, like I said, it's going to be five different exercises, um, <clears throat> technically four, but we're doing a minute on each side. Uh, we're going to do each for a minute long, and we really want to try and um, <clears throat> get to end range of motion here. So the first one's gonna be called the Cossack Squat. And this can be uh, really good uh, unilateral work. So I'm gonna get a wide stance. My toes will be pointing out 45 degrees. And I'm going to try and basically go diagonally down to one side while keeping the foot flat. Uh, the other foot, that can come up, doesn't matter. But then you gotta come all the way back up. So a lot of people who don't have very good hip or ankle mobility won't be able to get that low without bringing their heel up. So let's say like you get like this low and then like you have to do some kind of funky weird thing with the heel coming up or whatever. Just don't go that low. So go as low as you can and then come right back up and keep trying to challenge that. 
Now me, I have pretty good hip mobility, so I'm gonna be getting all the way low. I'm gonna try and push my knee out and we're coming back up and just alternating back and forth for a minute. Um, <clears throat> doesn't have to be like as many reps as possible. Just keep it moving for a minute. Is that gonna work for you? Yes. Awesome. After a minute, we're gonna do a sitting press. So for that, where's my thing go? There it is. Uh, you're gonna get your stick. Again, I'm gonna use a stretchy band. And all I'm gonna do <coughs> is I'm just going to sit, with my feet out forward. I'm gonna have uh, your tool right in your front neck position. <sighs> and you're just going to press. And it's gonna be harder, or I should say it's gonna be easier to keep your back nice and straight in this position. Uh, rather than getting a whole lot of um, extension for that. So we're just going to be doing presses with that. Should feel pretty good after doing all of the weighted presses we did yesterday. This will be non-weighted, uh, just getting a good range of motion going. Any questions on that? Nope. Awesome. Uh, after that, just a good old classic down and up dog. So <clears throat> I'm not very good at it because I'm not never flexible in this uh, direction. But you're going to have your feet shoulder width, you're going to have your hands shoulder width. You're going to lean back, try and pull your shoulder blades together. You can have a tiny bend in your knees, no big deal. And what you'll see me do is I'll kind of do a little walk here to get a little stretch. And then I'm going to look up while keeping my belly tight. And I'm just going to go back and forth. And I'm going to spend however long I feel like in each position. Um, really, the only thing you have to watch out for here is when you're in the the, uh, the up dog disposition here. You don't want to uh, relax and just kind of hang on stuff because then you're, you don't want your spine to relax and do it. You want to keep your belly tight so you don't overdo it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. We're going to do that for a minute. And then we're going to do um, a minute on each leg um, on the couch stretch. So the couch stretch is the uh, Sansom stretch, evil big brother. Um, so we all know the Sansom stretch where we put one knee on top of something soft and you just go forward like that and open up the hip right here. The couch stretch is called the couch stretch because you generally do it on a couch. What you would do is this back foot, you would just have that on the edge of a couch and you would do the same thing and that gets way deeper into the hip. Now, I have a couch over there. So I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to grab like so and try not to fall down. And I might fail. Um, I'm just going to grab hold. Come on, Joe. Here we go. And I'm going to get into as good a stretch as I can, just like so. One minute on this leg, one minute on the other leg. If this is all too much or if you're falling down like I tend to be doing, uh, you can absolutely just do a minute of the Samson stretch. Uh, no big deal. That good? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So I have a timer. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, one minute for each exercise. We are starting with the Cossack squat. Starting in three, two, one, and Cossack squat. Let me try and feel that full range of motion. Again, there's no rush here. And if you can't keep the heel down, go as low as you can while keeping the heel down. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, sitting press. So legs are gonna be out front. Pick up your stick or whatever. And press.
Okay. Down hot dog. Couch stretch on one leg. Let's see if I can uh, get down this here. Mm -hmm. okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. This kind of felt a release there for me. That was nice. Switch to the other way. Ooh, that one's tighter. Okay. All right, go back into the casting squat. to the sitting press.
Doug Dendo. Into Patrick. Someone here, Kathy. Wonder how long Kathy was waiting. Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, Kathy. My computer. Halfway through. That's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see what the workout is. It's uh, Mobility Friday, so we're uh, we're doing five different mobility things. We're doing them for one minute each. We're doing three rounds of it. Um, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Right now we're doing uh, a minute of couch stretch on each leg. Okay. And we are just switching to the other leg now. All right. Um, Sorry, <laughs> That's too tall. Okay. I hear a cat. Yes, he wants to come out. But he's an indoor cat. <laughs> Sounds like he wants to be an outdoor cat. Eh, it's Jack's right. cat. He's not allowed. <laughs> Last round, Kazakh squat. So, wide stance. And you're as low as you can with, a, with your heel, close heel flat. Put this down here. <laughs> so you're going to get this full round in, Kathy, and if you want to keep going, you just do two more rounds uh, once you're done with this one. Okay. I've been doing Mobility Fridays for the last few weeks, and I've been enjoying it quite a bit. Oh, switch. We're doing sitting press. So you're going to be sitting down, you're going to have a stick. And you're going to press it up in this sitting position. Uh -oh. Dying. It'll last. Dead. 
Down dog, up dog. This just has to last another few minutes. It'll be fine. Okay, back to the couch stretch. You can sub this with the Sansom stretch if you want. This has gotten much looser over this. This is way more comfy than the first round. <laughs> Same. And other side. Oh yeah. Way looser. And time. All right. So Kathy, all you gotta do is repeat that two more times if you wanna do what we did. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm warm and loose. What's that? So overhead bar now? It was, uh, it was one minute of Kazakh squat, one minute of the sitting press, one minute of the down up dog, and then one minute of the couch stretch on each leg. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we got our, we got a uh, full range of motion through most of our body. <laughs> uh, I like that a lot. Tomorrow, uh, for those of you that I haven't mentioned it to, we are meeting again at the Oneana High School track at 9.30 for a, uh, I'm gonna tell you what the workout right now. It's gonna be three rounds for time of a uh, 400 meter run, 25 push-ups, 25 sit-ups, and 25 squats. It's gonna be great. Yeah. If you can make have, it. Have fun. <laughs> oh, we will. <laughs> All right, Paul, you have a wonderful evening. You too. Kathy, enjoy the rest of the workout. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>